Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Corinne, also known as Caked Cory. We are here today to talk about some favorites. And I guess I would say these are favorites of 2020. Um, and I don't really like doing like monthly favorite videos because I feel like I don't have enough time to actually get to know the product. And I usually, like right now I'm just staying home a lot. So I'm not really putting makeup on every single day. And yeah, so I feel like I just should do a compilation maybe like every six months or something i don't know or when i have a bunch of favorites i want to talk about but um i also don't have a lot of products that i don't like usually like a lot of the stuff that i buy i like know i'm gonna like it which is really weird i'm not like super picky about stuff and yeah this is some stuff that was part of my routine throughout the year not just the last month and i and i think we're gonna start off bad so we'll start off with the the horrible things. I almost said the S word. <laughs> so these are the Neogen Dermalogica. <laughs> I can't speak. Neogen. I I always have trouble saying this word. Neogen Dermology. That's what it is. Real Sika pads. So I got these last year. I'm like this. Um, Sika became very in last year. Um, Unfortunately, like I got these as like toner pads. If you can see it. I got these as little toner pads. It does come with I want to say 30. 90. It comes with 90. So I wanted to use these as little toner pads instead of using like an actual toner on a cotton pad. Um unfortunately, I think the Sika does not agree with my skin because I just started getting like bumps all over my face and it was every time I used this product. And I used it like three or four times and I just stopped because I was like, I don't want to have my skin like that. And this is what our first quarantine, so like in March, March, uh, April, like is when I got this. So it says calming hydration and dead skin cell remover. Um, definitely left bumps and did not like this, I like don't. at the more of the beginning of 2020 was the Farsali Skin 2 Blur. So I actually got this as a haul from Sephora, I think, and I've been wanting to try some of their stuff. Um, I heard that the Skin Tune Blur was like good for like oily skin and like blurring the pores, 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 <laughs> blurring the pores. So I got this and I was super excited and I spent my money on it, like I was so excited. And I think this is the, I don't think this is the full size. I think this is the minier size, but this is a good like size. And I was only putting it like right here in the places I need to blur my pores. I wasn't putting it all over my face. The issue was, is literally right when I opened this, like, look at this. I don't know if it's supposed to be like this chunky. Like, do you see this? Look at that. It reminds me of eyelash glue. And like, I don't know if it's supposed to be this chunky. And even when I use the dropper, it like doesn't pick anything up because it's just so chunky. And like, I'm trying to put it on my skin right now. It's not coming out. I literally have to like roll this on my hand and take it off like that. So I'm literally going like this. And like, I could get past that. But the thing is like, I don't know if this product is supposed to be like this because I've never had this product before. I thought it was supposed to be liquidy. Like after it's blended out, I didn't blend it out all the way there. It's like a nice, like it feels nice. It feels very moisturizing and it doesn't bug me. But what bugs me is like the aftermath that comes with this product because every single thing that I was putting on afterwards, like my foundation, my concealer, everything would be fine. But like sometimes I would have a little problems with stuff sticking. Not a big deal, I can fix that. But after, like, throughout the day or, like, literally 30 minutes after I did my makeup, literally you could see all my pores. What? <laughs> what? This is a blurring, basically a blur, blur, this is a blurring perfecting primer serum. So, like, why can you see my pores? Literally anything I used over this. I tried multiple foundations just was not working and I just was like I'm done with this and I honestly don't know if it's just because it's old or what am I gonna try it again mm, I don't know like it took a lot for me to get this anyways because I was like I don't know if I'm gonna like it I don't like it 
I got this in the middle of 2020. This is an eyelash curler. It's a little dusty because my room gets so dusty, so I apologize. But this is from e.l.f. It's just an eyelash curler. This is the, the like, spring back. I don't know how you guys feel about, like, some eyelash curlers that have spring back, but this one has, like, a lot of spring back. And this one, just every time I used it, it literally, like, right here, sorry, or, like, right here, when you would do this, literally it would take out my lashes and like no matter how soft i would do it after a while it would do it every single time it was ripping out my lashes and i know that like if it's dirty it could rip out your lashes but this is like when my lashes were bare i would clean this would be clean i would do it right before i put any mascara on or anything and it was ripping out my lashes and i was like i'm so sick and tired of this and i literally stopped i tried to work with this it just was horrible i don't know why I, I hate this. It's going in the trash when we're done here. I can't even look at it. Like, that's how much it upset me because it was pulling my eyelashes out. It's not that serious, Corinne. It's not that serious. Um, the next product is... I've called it... I've always pronounced this bo Bossia, but I think it's Bosia. I always pronounce it Bossia, but it's the Cactus Water Moisturizer. So I bought this a while ago, like the middle of 2020, I want to say, or at the beginning. And... I've been trying to use it the few times I've been using it. It is like a very, like, do you see that gel-like consistency? The smell, it's like, kind of smells like chemicals. And I don't want to say that because that's, I don't know, that's not the exact correct word. It just has like a strong, like, medicine scent. It's not like a, a nice scent. Which is fine because sometimes that's a good... Sorry, there's a car driving by. But sometimes that's okay. But this just... I don't know. I, I put it on my face and it kind of made my face sticky. Which I would assume... Like cactus, when I think of cactus and like what's inside a cactus, I assume sticky. Like I assume that. So that was okay. But like it stayed consistently sticky and wasn't like going in my skin. Like it wasn't going in my pores the way I thought it would. It sat on the skin and it was just like, ugh. And I just, like, the multiple times I used this, once again, I just was breaking out, like, all right here. And every day I'd use this, I'd wake up the next morning and it just was like, I had little bumps on my face. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if I should look at the Sika and this one and look at the ingredient list. But, like, this was not my jam. And I'm sad because I really, like, was excited to try this. So I'm going to see if maybe someone else wants that. And my second to last product that just wasn't going my way, I actually got into lashes this year and like right now I'm staring at myself in the mirror and I'm like, I'm so irritated that I don't have lashes on. Like I have my little lashes that I like curled and everything. Oh, I also have some mascara there, but I curl my lashes, but like now every time... I want to put fake eyelashes on because I'm in love with them now and it's very very frustrating because <laughs> every time I have a makeup look I want to put some on and you know I don't need them for every makeup look but apparently my brain tells me I do so these are some lashes that I just was not vibing with sadly and they look really pretty these are the Ardell Faux Mink 817s this one just like popped off the thing but they're like really pretty. Let me take it out of the thing just so you can see them a little better. This is a brand new box too. Like I bought two pairs of these just cause I was like, these are so pretty. And I usually don't have a problem with Ardell lashes. Like my issue was with these is that the inner corner just kept popping up. I trimmed it and it just kept popping up no matter what. And I'm like, oh my God. And it, I just kept stabbing me. I had to keep putting it back down. It was just, or gluing it back down. So this is what they look like. So the thing about these lashes is that on the corners here, they're very short and in the middle it tends to be longer. So that's like the style that I like and I tend to go for. So my issue is with these, when I have to cut them, I'm cutting out the outer corner and then it's basically short and then long. It like defeats the purpose of the lash because that's not the type of lash that I wanted, you know? So that kind of bugs me. 
but if I cut them, I'm thinking maybe if I cut them differently, like if I trim from here and from the inner corner, maybe it'll like still work. But then you have to be careful about not making the inner corner look like too full because then it looks weird. So maybe I'll try that, but just the inner corner part was not sticking. Like I don't know why. I don't think it I don't think it was my lash glue because I use my lash glue on other lashes and it was sticking. So I think it's just the band on these. Maybe I'll try to cut them that way and see if that helps it. But I just Ardell Foam Ink 817s just were not working for me at all for whatever reason. And the last products that <sighs> disappointed me was these are my favorite so they're not a dislike i love these i love these what made me disappointed is that i've had these for like a year and even some other ones i've had for like over a year and for whatever reason like they dried out and it really really upsets me god Tilla Glitter and Glows. This is in Plum On. Um, this one's in Painted Lady. And then I have a uh, Monarch. And I have more. Like, I've had a bunch of these. So I love these. I got them for Christmas, I believe, from one of um, my coworkers. And literally, like... Like, that's... Like, there's something there. But this is not what they are. Like, that is not pigmented at all. This is the plum color. Look at this. That one actually came off okay. That's not that bad. It's just the sparkle. There's like the sparkle gets dried out and it just doesn't transfer. Um, I have other like Kit and Karma, Smoky Storm, my Rose Gold Retro. Like they're just all dried out. Like look at this. Like and then I was messing with them the other day trying to get them to work because I thought maybe on the inside it's wet and I just need to scrape it. No, it's all dried out. And I'm really irritated by that, that it's dried out because like these are the minis, but like a full size one is like $24. Like that's a lot for something like this that you don't use every single day. And I'm thinking if I buy this again, I have to use it every day or else it's gonna dry out. And I've used these a lot and like a little goes a long way but like, I wish that the packaging was better in a way or like tight lock or something so that these didn't dry out. And like, I, I have other products that are like this or like the Super Shock Shadows from ColourPop and like those literally have a little twist off lid that you have to tighten a little bit, but those don't dry out. And that company literally sells those for like $10, $12, even less than that. And it's just like, why is this packaging drying out the product? I get it, they're a year old. Who knows, they're probably only allowed, like they probably have a six month tag on them, honestly. But the fact is, is like when you're paying money for stuff, like you don't want it to dry out. And like, I'm upset that I have like, I probably have like almost 10 of these and all of them are dried out. And all of them I have to repurchase. And I don't even want to do that at that point, at this point, because it's like, they're all just gonna dry out again if I don't use them every single day so I'm kind of like irritated by that or maybe I'm just gonna get all the little sizes if they sell them individually which I don't know if they do and that just frustrates me a lot very very frustrating honestly like how passionate I got about the Stella glitters those are my favorite and that just like really upset me but now I can be passionate about the things that I love and adore. And honestly, I don't, like, I have a lot, but at the same time, I don't. And, like, I have skincare, too, which obviously 2020 was the year of skincare. And I definitely broke out so much on my chin. And right here, I have, where I work, I have to wear a mask and I have to wear a shield. And it gets sweaty and it gets hot and you're trapping it all in here regardless if you're not wearing makeup like it traps all this bacteria and you just break out a lot so this year was the year of skincare for me i've always been into skincare but we've been very into it so i actually am going to start off with skincare since we're talking about it and these i want to say these first three products saved my life 
they saved my life guys and i'm telling you they're gonna save your life too so i bought i actually i think i bought these all in the same haul it was um on my channel too but you'll you'll recognize them so first off we're gonna start off with bliss bright idea this is a vitamin c and pro collagen brightening and firming serum this is my second bottle i went through the first bottle it did last me a long time you can use this at night and you can use this during the morning i like to use it at night i like to use most of my vitamin c at night i just think if you go out use something brightening and then you go out in the sun i don't really think that that's great for your skin so i tend to use this at night um this is a good dark spot like corrector so i do use this regardless every single night i use this every single night and it has helped so much i had a spot here if you looked at my old videos i had this one spot that was like a deep cystic acne that was flat but it was just so deep and it left a mark this completely helped that so i love this product this is so good and it works in conjunction with everything else i'm going to show you and then We'll go with the mask. So I have the Ordinary AHA 30% and BHA peeling solution. So this is that like blood one that everyone has been doing. Oh, this thing is beautiful. I love this. I haven't been using it recently and I like, I'm mad at myself for that, but I started using it again and I'm so happy. And these two together, oh my God, beautiful. My skin has never looked better the peeling solution you only leave on 10 minutes you don't leave it on any longer you want to make sure that you don't have anything like an open like cut or like an open pimple or something like that um you want to make sure that if you do have one of those you go around it don't put it right here in your sensitive areas because it will burn uh what else use it at night and use it once a week do not use it i mean you can i think you can use it twice a week but I wouldn't. You only need to use it once a week. And you do not do it in the morning because you cannot go in sun after using this. Do it at night. Go to sleep. We'll do it at night. Wash it off. Go to sleep. Your skin will look great in the morning. It helps with evening your skin tone also. So with dark spots. Um, it also helps with scars. It definitely helps with this cystic thing. This is the thing I had to buy to help me with this cystic, cystic acne that was right here. And I couldn't get rid of it. This deeply penetrates into the skin and like kills all the bacteria kills all the pigmentation and just brings your skin back to life this product right here it does burn a little bit beauty is pain man beauty is pain and this use this once a week then you go in with the bliss dark spot brightening corrector every single day and these two products together just wonderful wonderful i cannot say anything bad about this and then the third product is also from the ordinary and this is the niacinamide 10 percent and the zinc one percent i'm like halfway through this bottle this is so good like i bought this and i didn't use it for a while and i was like i need to start using this every single day started using it every single day and i could not believe how clear my skin got like i would still get a little here and there with my mask from work but like this literally is so good niacinamide i like i would hear so many people say niacinamide is so good for your skin and i just like let this sit in my cabinet and not use it use niacinamide especially this one this is so good you can use this every single day i would say at night every single night i do i would do this and then this and then moisturizer and i was done well i did like my cleanse and like all that before that but you would do this first this first or this first this second and then your moisturizer um these work really well together also and i have looked up if you can use like vitamin c and niacinamide together you can it's a very great very very great combo i don't use this every single night now though because i do have another product from bliss that is a toner and it has niacinamide in it and you don't want to do too much niacinamide because it'll dry out your skin and it won't really work as well so i like to use the toner every single night and then i'll use this like once or twice a week as a booster basically so i'll go in with this after the toner then this then moisturizer um so if you have products that have niacinamide in it and you buy this you don't want to use this every single day just use it as like a booster to what you're already using 
but I love this. And if you just want to buy this and use this every night, then I would do it because it's great. And these three products together, beautiful. I'm telling you, buy one of them and let me know how you're doing and just, you'll love it. This product, this one in particular, if you use it every single day, it is one of those products that you have to like keep using in order to see results. So you have to be consistent with it. It is good, but it works even better with the peeling. And my next product is going to be from Pharmacy. It is the Clean Bee Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. So this smells really good. It smells like honey, basically. This goes a very long way, so you can use a little bit. I've used this multiple times, and I've only gotten, like, down to there, basically. I do not use this every single night. This can feel like it could be stripping your face a little bit, so the, you want to use this when you really, really, really need it. Like, like I said, when I was working, um, I, my face would just be so oily and just feel so clogged and just so disgusting. And I did wear a little powder and I had like eye makeup on a little bit. So like my face just felt so disgusting after my shifts. This saved my life too. So you, I do my like balm cleansing to get all of my makeup off. And then I would go in with this and this just makes my skin feel so fresh. Like after like basically feeling so dirty after my shift, like this helps so much. This definitely, I think if you have dry skin, this might be too harsh for you. So I would say like if you have oily skin, even maybe combo skin, you would definitely love this. Um, little goes a long way. But it if you use too much and or if you're dry skin, it is going to feel like it's stripping your skin. But this just works so good to get all the grime and grease and like disgustingness off of you. So this is very good. Do you like my little cozy with all my stuff in it? Uh, I did start getting into crocheting because Messy Jessie, she's a YouTuber, she started getting into crocheting, so I started getting into crocheting, and I will never look back. It's very fun and therapeutic, but yeah, this is my little cozy I made, but I have a couple brushes to talk about, so this is the Morphe R37, so this is newer to me, I got it last year. Uh, this is just a nice brush. These little white haired brushes, like I've never used to be a fan of them, but I really like this one. So yeah, it just diffuses the color very well. And I've kept this one clean to show you guys, but very beautiful. It's the R37 by Morphe. Definitely would love this. Beautiful. And then I have this one, which definitely was not being kept clean because I love it that much that I had to use it. This is the Essential Crease Brush by Real Techniques. It's uh, the 310 brush. It did come in their Essential Eye Kit, I believe it's called. This one is uh, a little bit more tiny than all the other ones I have. I love this so much. It just diffuses color in the crease so freaking good. Like, if you're not good at makeup or you're a beginner and you like need help blending, get this brush because literally it just like blends the crease so I love it. It's my favorite. That's exactly why I cleaned it and I couldn't stop touching it. It sat in my cozy and I kept grabbing it and I was trying not to, but man, it's good, man. Another one I have is an eyelash curler. So this one definitely replaced the e.l.f. one. I usually use a Revlon one. That's like the eyelash curlers that I've been using. I definitely need eyelash curlers because my eyelashes are horrible like they're long and like I can like make them look really nice but just keeping them curled is a very big issue with me so I've always used a Revlon one Revlon's okay it's not my absolute favorite I've always thought there has to be something better than this and I've tried a lot of eyelash curlers I love this one this this was like a holiday one this one has sequins all over it my mom got me this and I told her I wanted one of these and she got it for me, so I'm happy. This is the Tarte one. It was like, I think it was like 20 bucks, which is a little steep, but it was this. And then it came with like their little mascara, the Big Ego. So it came with like a little one of these. And I bought one of these for my friend last year, except hers like had stones all over it. And it was like so cute. And she told me she needed one and I saw it on her vanity recently and I was like, isn't that thing great and she's like yes and my mom got me one and I'm so excited because I love this thing it's like has a good spring 
but like I just like do it a few times before I put my mascara on and at the end of like me doing my makeup and everything it still has my eyelashes curled like even though it falls like the fact that it keeps them curled even the tiniest bit that you could see my eyelashes that's a win for me because I always have to be curling my eyelashes even with the Revlon one it just always like they would fall and I would have to recurl them so this is beautiful definitely if you have trouble with your eyelashes you should definitely get this this has the same consistency as the elf one it just doesn't freaking rip your eyelashes out every time you use it <laughs> it really doesn't it's really great all right and then my other products that i have are going to be complexion products and they're going to be two concealers so the first one is the elf hydrating camo concealer this one has a satin finish this is in light peach i do own the camo concealer the regular one the matte one and I like it but it could be so freaking drying like it would show like some of my like dry patches right under my eye and I didn't like that and it's like hard to blend you have to like use it right away and I don't hate it but I do think I like this one a little better I'm wearing it on my face today I'm using it as a foundation today because I do that a lot I do like it um, I'm an oily girl and I decided to get the hydrating one because the other one was just so matte and like even this can be a little dry but it tends to like give me like a nice little like life to my face you know what I mean like a little natural finish it doesn't make me so like it gives me a nice like glow and like the color is the only thing that like kind of bugs me because these hydrating ones tend to be more pink and like the camo one the other ones tend to be more yellow so like light peach in this one is different than light peach in the other one which I don't like because Sometimes it looks too pink. Like right now it kind of looks like it matches, but like when I'm out in like natural light, it looks too pink. Like it doesn't, it's not my tone, but I do like it. It's very good. Um, maybe, I don't think I can go lighter, honestly, cause I think I'll be too white, but definitely love this. And the next one that I was pleasantly surprised about, I like their foundation a lot. And I don't know why I never thought to like try their concealer, but someone was raving about it. I forget who it was. But someone was raving about it and I was like, I'm just gonna buy it. I've used this like two or three times because I have so many. I use this like very little and I know that I like it. Honestly, it's that good. And it does have kind of like a whipped consistency, which is a little weird, but it worked really well. It is, um, I have it in 1.30W Light Sand and it is the Beauty Blender Concealer. This is just, like the little applicator too is just really good. Like it's just like this weird shape and I love it, but like it's just like whipped. Like if you could see it in the tube right now, it's just like this whipped goodness. It's not like these other concealers that tend to be more like watery and like a little bit thick. Like this is really whipped, but it works so good. It works so good and it's the, oh, it's the Bounce Airbrush Lip, <laughs> lip. It's the Bounce Airbrush Liquid whip concealer and it's really just really great and it's really just really great <laughs> i can't talk today but it's really good definitely you guys should definitely try this out if you like their foundation you would definitely like this and i don't know why it took me so long to try it and i also like the elf jelly pop juicy gloss you guys already know i've been wearing this this entire year like look at my tube <laughs> i use this a lot like at work because I have to wear a mask all the time this just works so well under a mask like yeah I could get on the mask but what I mean by it works so well is it like keeps my lips so moisturized like I can go through an eight nine ten hour shift and like my lips still feel moisturized like this will won't be completely off my lips and I love it like I don't know if they sell these anymore but these are so good I think the balms they have like the squeezy bombs are probably great too, but like I don't know what it is about this Jelly Pop gloss, but it just works so well. It's so good. I don't know what it is. And I rediscovered an old favorite. So I used to wear this when I was in high school. This is the CoverGirl Professional 3 in 1, and it's a mascara. It's in very black. So it looks like this. It's always had this blue color, it just had like a different shape to it, but this mascara it has like this wand that's just shaped see how it's like curved 
I love this for my bottom lashes. Like I love putting the curved part like this. And I used to use this for my bottom lashes all the time. And honestly, I don't know why I was at writing. I was like, I'm gonna pick that up again because I used to love that. And I fell in love with it again. Like it just makes the bottom lashes so black. Like I have it on today. My lashes, it doesn't give them length. Don't think that it will because mine aren't that long and they never will be that long. But it just makes them so black and like defined and I love it. Like. I didn't realize how much I needed this in my life again and I'm so glad that I got it and I have a lip liner a lot of people like these lip liners this is the elf retro paradise I don't know what color this is but that whole box that they had with the lip gloss and then it came with like the four lip liners they're all great I don't know what what this formula is or how they did this but they need to come out with individuals because these are so good and these colors this I don't know what shade this is but this is the color I've been using this like crazy this is like my one I mean I like all of them but like this one I've been using like crazy and it's getting shorter and shorter and I think I just need to buy a whole nother box just so I can have these because they're so good that's what we need to tell elf we need to tell elf bro make these individual like they've been killing it but I'm surprised that they haven't made these individual yet or like did a whole new lip liner. Do they even have lip liner? I don't know if they have lip liner, but you should definitely do that, Elf. You're not watching me, but we need these individual. They're so good. All right, and on the topic of like lip liners and eyeliners, these are my last favorite of the video, but these are from NYX and they are their eyeliners. They came out with a bunch of these. They're the NYX Epic Wear liners and those ones, the Epic Wears are like these. They have like these different, this I mean, colored packaging. And then I also have some Slide On, Glide On, Stay On and definitely a Turn On Waterproof Extreme Shine Eyeliner. Say that five times fast, which are these. And these um, are more like metallic kind of. I have had this one for years. It's an olive. I literally think it's called olive, golden olive. I've had this for years and like it's beautiful you don't need a lot of it obviously it's still like pretty big um i did get this shade esmeralda which is a green and this glitzy gold which i really like i've been wearing these constantly and the reason why i got these is because i've been wanting colored liner for my waterline obviously i have the pink one there today they work pretty well. They stay on pretty well. I always notice like at the end of the day, I still have them on my uh, waterline. I keep wanting to say lip line, my waterline. But I did go back to work between June and I think like the first week in December, we were working and then we went back into lockdown and a lot of people weren't wearing makeup and I was just wearing like mascara. And then I started putting these in my waterline because it adds like a little fun pop of color and it makes me feel better because like working right now is not that great and it's not a fun environment and I definitely felt so much better and just like like putting these in my waterline getting ready for work and like just having something fun like I definitely liked and I'd always get compliments on these and I wouldn't even have eyeshadow on I would just have this in my waterline it's just like, um I'll swatch some of these colors for you I did also get some blues greens yellows I have a bunch of these I and mean, these are really good um some of my favorite shades are frosted lilac it's gonna be this right here it is a little metallic but it's very beautiful i also love this pink one this is the one that i have on my waterline today this is in pink spirit very creamy like look at that that's like a piece of the pencil because it's so creamy very pretty pink color i don't know what it is about people i mean i think it's people with hazel eyes but i have hazel eyes and I put this in my waterline and like it makes my eyes pop. I don't know what it is, but like a pink, a bright pink liner like this, guys, it just works so well for hazel eyes. So if you just want to wear a pink liner and then mascara, you'll definitely be popping, honestly. This one is a uh, periwinkle pop. This is similar to, what's the one I just said? The frosted lilac. It just tends to be like a little bit more purple, like a tinge this one right here it's like a tinge more lavender than the uh frosted lilac the orange one i really like too sometimes i mix the orange and the pink together and they look really pretty that's the orange this one is literally called orange i think orange zest 
zesty. And then I also like this purple one, which is graphic purple, which is just a deeper purple. These other ones that are the slide on ones are very good. The olive one I've used for years. It does tend to be a little bit darker. Glitzy gold is good. I love that one. I kind of use glitzy gold instead of the yellow one a lot. When I'm using like, or having like a golden yellow look, I use the glitzy gold more than like yellow. But this is Esmeralda, the glitzy gold, and then the olive one. The olive one's good if you want to do something neutral and like you don't want to use black or brown liner. The olive one is like a very nice like hint. And then just to show you guys other colors that I have. I'm not going to swatch all these, but just so you can see. Yes. Just so you can see, these are the other colors I got. So I got slide on, glide on in like a blue color, another blue, and then I got this is like a yellow chart chartreuse, I think it's called. Chartreuse flash. This is like a green yellow, and then I got some teals and blues here. I also wear the blues and teals too. I just tend to wear the mauve colors more, but I do can't I can't wait to like play into these and see what I, looks I can get from them. Uh, I definitely do need like a actual bright yellow because I do use this one and the glitzy gold one. So if you guys have a recommendation, definitely let me know. But I love these. And if you want some color for your waterline, definitely get these because they're really good. And they stay on. They last very long. Another thing too, before I say goodbye, I literally can't get these off. Like that is why they're called epic wear. Like I'm literally scrubbing. I'm going to have to use a micellar water. But like I'm literally like hurting my hand to get these off. They literally are epic wear liners, honestly. But yeah, so that was all my favorites and then some not so favorites, but those are kind of my favorites for the year, like I said, because I wasn't wearing a lot of foundation. If I was wearing it, I was using concealers. Um, I was messing with my hair because I was bored and needed something to do, a lot of skincare and lip liners. This is like the only lip liner I used, honestly. So when I was wearing lip liner, it was this. And, you know, use a lot of eyeliner, just to, like make things a little fun. Some brushes, you know, not a lot going on, not an eyeshadow palette and all that, but definitely like, this is pretty good stuff. Like I, I didn't, it surprised me. I usually pay attention to like foundations and eyeshadows and stuff like that, but like my skincare and all that this year, like through the roof, very great. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Um, check out my Instagram. It's going to be Caked Cory. I'll leave the little tag down here. And it was nice talking to you guys. And I love you. Hope you have a nice Valentine's Day. Get a little freaky. Eating all those chocolates by yourself, which I will be doing. I'm just kidding. My, I hope my boyfriend has something planned, I guess. I don't know. But we'll definitely probably be eating pizza and chocolates. So have a nice night, guys. Bye.